Yo, what's going on guys? Today video is gonna be a update video for 2020. Things I've been changing, things that I've been working on, and just an overall update of things I have planned and want to change around. First thing first, you know, we do have Guild Wars coming up in a couple hours from now. And if you're grinding that, I will be streaming the prelims on my Twitch channel if you want to come chill. Um, I have to do like 100 million, I think, or something like that. So I'll be doing all that via EX Plus. So it's going to be like a couple hours, maybe like five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. But it's going to be a while before I can finish that. And I have to, have to do it on two accounts. So yeah, it'll, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. But with that, let's get on to the updates. Update. Well, let's first talk about the first thing, which is should you spark? If you've been watching Should You Spark over, I think I started this in like near the middle of 2018. I mean, 2019, excuse me. Like around like March or or May. No, it was it was it was late, right? I'll say May June. I started Should You Spark. Um, over time, it ended up becoming pretty much a character impression video. It's like character impression. I look at the weapon, the character. Then I look at both. I mean, if it's two characters, I look at the weapon and the character, and then the summon. And then I would talk about why you should or should not spark about it. Um, generally, there are no if you're free to play. But uh, I do talk about it. And I realized that it's really becoming a character impression video. So unfortunately, um, there's two ways of looking at it. I can either keep the video what 40 50 minutes long or i could break them up into character impression character impression should you spark i think i'm go with the latter tell me how you guys feel about that one um per people have been asking me to do character impressions for a very long time i've never really been one to do it unfortunately i ended up doing it regardless with this format so that's one thing that's been on my mind that i think i should change what should you spark Second thing I'm going to talk about is damage comparison videos. Yes, I've been doing this, I think, in the last m a little bit over a month and a half. I did two, one with Hades, um, Highlander build, and Tmot Harp and Gun Grid versus the uh, Cosmos Gun Grid. I do plan on doing more of these in the future, just that I don't know which grids to do right now. Most majority of the grids on the account I'm currently using the majority of the time are whale grids so it's kind of hard to compare those to magna like of course magna's gonna do less so i wanted to do more fair comparisons so that's gonna be taking a while because i am currently still grinding up a lot of free-to-play grids yes i'm not trying my hardest in terms of grinding a free-to-play grid especially when it's weaker than the grid i currently use that also applies to the bunko grids <laughs> that i'm not really trying my hardest in getting the bunko grids because you know they're weaker than the grid I'm currently using right now, unfortunately. So I'm gonna, I'll figure out how I do it. Um, I'm gonna actually really try hard when we find out the upcoming Guild Wars, cause I do wanna have the damage comparison video out early as possible for the element that the Guild Wars gonna, the upcoming Guild Wars, not the one that we have now, but the one after this one, I wanna be able to have damage comparison videos for that Guild Wars, so. I don't know when it's gonna happen, but uh, that's my idea. Hopefully it's like either wind or earth. I would prefer wind, cause most of the wind grids are already done. So it'd be really easy for me. The only one I'm really missing is the Zeph grid, the pre to play uh, Eunice or what, what is it? not Eunice. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> uh, whatever it's called the uh, bow grid from Morigna. So I got to farm that. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. And um, Hopefully I am able to uh, get that done on time. I think maybe Earth will be better for me because I only need to get a couple axes and I'm done while I got to farm Morigna for the bows, which may take a while. We'll see, we'll see though. The next update we're gonna talk about is I actually decided to restart my tier list. Um, currently it's a work in progress. I'll show you what it looks like right now. It's in the description if you guys wanna look at it yourselves. Uh, currently, I've done Fa High Level and I believe Guild Wars EX Plus. 
I'm currently doing the Proud Plus as well. Um, there's no write-up yet on these, like, elements right now. There's no write-up for the characters and stuff. That's going to take some time, and i got to figure out the layout, how I want to do it. What I was thinking about was just doing a write-up and maybe a video of the character in action and their, like, optimal team. Um, that's what I'm thinking about, but I'm only going to do it for, like, the core SSS and, um, I say triple S, but core SS and S. I'm not doing it for every character. That'd be ridiculous. Not how many videos that would be. Like, I'm, I don't even want to do it for S, to be honest. S is, like, it's too many characters. So what I'm really considering doing it for is core and SS, so you can see, like, the really top tier characters in action, so you get an idea. Um, I'm not too sure, uh, it, it, like, most of these characters already have videos for, so it's not that hard, but I, I am considering doing for each, at least in the, uh, the top tiers. Obviously, there's characters I currently do not have, like these two, so, um, Lobella, there's characters I don't have, so, we'll see, I may have an account with them, so, maybe I'll do it for most characters, if not, I can get a video from somebody else. But that's my general idea on how I'm doing it. Probably so like a setup, a comp, a team comp that they work well with, and then the uh, video. Um, it's something that's still in progress, you know. It's not something that you're going to be, I'm going to finish in like a week or a month or two months. It's something that's going to be, I'm going to be doing over time every day a little bit. And then slowly as time goes on, it'll get completed fully and more full and that sounded really dumb, but you know what I mean, right? It's over time. It's a work in progress, you know, right now it's at the baby steps. And when we get there, we get there, right? So yeah. And then we have another thing to mention. We have grind progress. <laughs> so what I started to do is document all the gold bars I get. And currently the weapons I'm currently farming at the moment, um, some of these weapons are farming more heavily than others. So trying to, I'm trying to knock out the low weapons like Gilgamesh Axe. I haven't finished that yet. Um, Team Aunt Malice's staff. Trying to knock that out. So I'm slowly grinding up all this stuff. Um, I really been. Oh, I say I'm a lot, don't I? I've been trying to avoid this because you know most of these weapons are grits I don't need on the account. But I'll do it for a video. Honestly, it's for a video. I won't lie to you guys. Is it worth it? No, don't do it. But for my situation, I'll do it for a video. So it should be fun. It should be fun. This is this is zero out of twenty, so this is gonna be hell. <laughs> I, I don't think I heard that they increased the magnitude drop rates, so maybe it won't be that bad. But in my opinion, it's probably gonna be pretty bad. We'll see. We'll see. And the final thing I wanted to mention is Far Roulette. This is something I've been doing on my Twitch stream. It's a system where, like, if anyone subs to my channel, I've been doing a far run where I pick a random player, um, who don't stream, pick a random person, and let them host far high level, whatever LE they want. I don't care. You can leech. Doesn't matter to me. Um, prefer, I prefer you leech, actually, because most people don't know the raid, especially if it's somebody who's, like, rank 171. I prefer you just, just host it. Don't, don't do anything. Because <laughs> you're going to end up dying regardless most of the time. If you guys want to contribute, feel free. But generally, I have somebody host it. Then I roll a wheel. I'll show you what the wheel looks like, actually. So we roll the wheel here. And in the wheel, if it loads, we um, pick an Ellie. So Ellie could be like fire. I'll show you an example of it. So it's like fire, earth, water, wind, whatever. We'll just take three for now, because why not? And then we just roll it for fun. And whatever Ellie we end up landing on, the Ellie got in the plank. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, I've tried out many combinations. I actually tried Grand Day in the raid. Um, it's actually performed pretty well. I think I got second. Um, it didn't clear though because you know I'm second with Grand Day, <laughs> Hades Grand Day. If I'm second with Hades Grand Day, I had like 1.2 mil. That should not happen. <laughs> it should not happen. But these co-op runs could be kind of, you know, Pepega, dude. They're, they're not the best, you know? <laughs> so, generally, I have to carry every run, unfortunately. Um, it's okay, though. I don't mind. <laughs> but that's what I've been doing. And then, after we pick the LE, right, I would go on and either let whoever is subscribed pick the character. 
If not, then we'll have everyone in chat put characters into the pool and we roll and whatever character I get is a character I play with. Now, it started off with being three characters. I realized quickly that was a bad idea. We went to two characters. That was pretty bad as well. So now we're currently at one. Um, <laughs> two was a little bit too much because, as I mentioned, generally if I'm not doing three to four million, the run's not passing. <laughs> It's really unfortunate that Fa High Level Co-op has gotten to this point, but it is what it is. <laughs> Unless I have to put on all the big boy pants, it's not going to pass. So we're currently at one, but it's still pretty fun. Um, it gives me time to try out characters I wouldn't normally try, right? So I do like that. It's that it, it brought in my horizon of like trying characters of who I thought would be really, really bad. They end up being not so bad. Like Folia was one example where I thought Folia would be unbearably bad. Realize that uh, that shield on Ogi is pretty good. <laughs> I realized that one real quick. So you know it's it's enjoyable for me. Um, so if you guys want to come and chill in and you know enjoy it, you have the option. If not, oh well, that's okay. But with that, um, those are the updates. Tell me how you guys feel about it. Leave it in the comments your opinions. Should you spark? Do I update that to tier, um, do I change that to impression videos and should you spark just so I can cut down the time on it instead of dropping like a 50 minute video. So just tell me how you guys feel about it and thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.